Good morning everyone. Welcome to the morning devotion praying through the psalms. My friends, today we are praying Psalm 51. A psalm written by King David. This is one of the seven penitential psalms we find in the book of Psalms. And the other psalms are Psalm 6, 32, 38, 102, 130 and 143. All these seven psalms are called as penitential psalms in the book of Psalms. Now, coming to Psalm 51 as such, the context of this psalm is already explained in the beginning of this psalm, Psalm 51, and it reads like this: A psalm of David. When Nathan the prophet came to him after David had gone into Bathsheba. Here we see King David committed sin with Bathsheba, the wife of Uriah. Now, here after Nathan came and encountered David, making him realize his mistake, his sinfulness, David here comes out asking God's mercy, pardon. He comes out clean here. He doesn't justify himself here. He prays for God's mercy. He prays for God's compassion. He is trying to be very open before the Lord and frank and genuine before the Lord. That's where I like this Psalm Psalm 51 because here we can see David's openness, David's genuineness, David's frankness, David's you know emotions here asking God's mercy and compassion. Now my friends, I love the way David opened Psalm 51. He's pretty much straight before the Lord. He has no any hidden agenda here. He comes out straight before the Lord asks for only one thing and that is God's forgiveness. So he prays, "Have mercy on me, O Lord, in accord with your merciful love. Have mercy on me." This is how he opened Psalm Psalm 51. Now, the question is, where did he get this courage from? The strength from? The answer is also here in the same psalm. "In your abundant compassion, blot out my transgressions." so in your abundant compassion so god is here abundantly compassionate abundantly merciful and so david knew that god is very much compassionate and so he gets the courage to ask god's forgiveness and now verse 7 needs our attention and explanation let us now read verse 7 to see what it is behold i was born in sin in sin my mother conceived me behold i was born in guilt in sin my mother conceived me we need not be mistaken here they that david was born out of sinful relationship that's not the point here the point here is the purpose here is to show the depth of david's sin david wants to communicate to god that he is really sinful his sin is weighing so much so that's why that's why that's why he writes in sin i was born in sin my mother conceived me now next Let us also read verse 9 to understand what it is. Cleanse me with his soap. Cleanse me with his soap. What is this his soap? God commanded his people to use his soap in the ceremonial cleansing of his people and their houses. We can find this in Exodus 12th chapter where people used his soap to apply the blood of the Passover lamb to apply when they applied the blood on the and they door pose so they used his soap here when david asked the lord to use his soap he is asking for the spiritual cleanliness he wants god to cleanse him thoroughly he wants god to really purify him and now we have something more interesting happening here david not only he wants a kind of purification from his sinfulness he wants god to create a new heart and give it to him He desires for a kind of new heart, clean heart. Isn't it something wonderful? He doesn't want the old heart anymore. He wants a new heart. He wants a clean heart. Mainly because he wants to cherish a great and renewed relationship with God. He wants to stay close to God. And he doesn't believe that he can continue the same with the old heart. He wants a new, clean and fresh heart. Isn't it something very very interesting my friends? Let us now read verse 12 and 13. A clean heart create for me, O God. Renew within me a steadfast spirit. 
13 do not drive me from before your face so don't drive me out from your presence not take from me your holy spirit so here asking for his spirit david wants to stay close to god so here he wants a new heart and clean heart secondly he wants a kind of great great bonding with the lord he wants to stay close with the lord meaning to say he wants to continue a kind of new relationship with god verse 15 is a quite a statement here david resolves to teach the wicked people to come back to god now he knows the weight of sin so he wants to go and tell the wicked people to come back to god to stop sinning to come back to god probably david might have really done it now let us read verse 15 i will teach the wicked your ways that sinners may return to you so i will teach the wicked people that they will come back to you oh god beautiful amazing now next verse 17 also needs our attention and explanation lord you will open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise My friends we need to know that David is a musician he is a singer and he is also a musician and so now he wants to sing again to God with the weight of sin he is unable to sing now that he is freed from the sinfulness he wants to once again sing praises to God my friends for those of us who falsely think that God will be delighted to have rich offerings the burnt offerings the offerings of gold property wealth silver David teaches all of us today that God will not be happy with all these offerings rather God wants a contrite spirit a humbled heart a broken heart a repentant heart God wants let us now read verse 18 and 19 and to to confirm this for you do not desire sacrifice or i will give it David was rich enough if only God wanted those offerings a burnt offering you would not accept God will not accept and what God accepts he writes my sacrifice o god is a contrite spirit a humbled heart o god you will not scorn you will not reject so my friends god will not reject a broken heart god will be very delighted to have a contrite contrite heart repentant heart broken heart the way david ended the psalm psalm 51 is quite astounding and appealing Let us now read the last verse especially verse 19 to see what it is Treat Zion kindly according to your good will build up the walls of Jerusalem so treat Zion kindly Zion is his kingdom so now David is begging the Lord to treat his kingdom kindly he is asking the Lord to to take care of his kingdom because he now he knew for sure that he is a failure as a human being is a failure as a husband and father even as a ruler he failed because he committed sin with Bathsheba so that's that's the reason he there is entreating the lord is begging the lord is asking the lord repeatedly to take care of his kingdom as well my friends this is how he comes out broken this is how he comes out genuine before the lord my friends this is how i find personally this is a very good prayer for all of us can pray this morning afternoon night any any time of the day so with all these thoughts with all this explanation now we pray some 51 have mercy on me god in accord with your merciful love In your abundant compassion blot out my transgressions thoroughly wash away my guilt and from my sin cleanse me for I know my transgressions my sin is always before me against you you alone have I sinned I have done what is evil in your eyes so that you are just in your word and without reproach in your judgment Behold I was born in guilt 
In sin, my mother conceived me. Behold, you desire true sincerity, and secretly you teach me wisdom. Cleanse me with hyssop, that I may be pure. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. You will let me hear gladness and joy. The bones you have crushed will rejoice. Turn away your face from my sins. Blot out all my iniquities. A clean heart create for me, God. Renew within me a steadfast spirit. Do not drive me from before your face, nor take from me your Holy Spirit. Restore to me the gladness of your salvation. Uphold me with a willing spirit. I will teach the wicked your ways, that sinners may return to you. Rescue me from violent bloodshed. God, my saving God. And my tongue will sing joyfully of your justice. Lord, you will open my lips. And my mouth will proclaim your praise. For you do not desire sacrifice or I would give it. A burnt offering you would not accept. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit. A contrite, humbled heart, O God, you will not scorn. Treat Zion kindly according to your good will. Build up the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will desire the sacrifices of the just, burnt offering and whole offerings. Then they will offer up young bulls on your altar. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, we thank you, we adore you, we bow down before you. Lord, we come to know how compassionate you are. Psalm 51 tells us, clearly depicts us, shows us that you have been very kind, understanding and considerate God. That's how David comes out courageously to ask your forgiveness. Yes, Lord. David gives us a kind of example to come to you each time we go away from you. There are so many of us our family members, our friends, and all other people who are going away from you. Lord, in your kindness, blot out our transgressions. Cleanse us from all our sinfulness. Give us a new heart. Give us a broken heart. Give us a clean heart that we can once again have a great bonding with you, great relationship with you. Lord, help us on our journey that we can always come closer to you. Bring us each time we go away from you. Give us a broken heart. Give, show us the real way. Show us the real path. Bless all your people who watch this program, praying through the Psalms. Bless their family members. Bless their near and dear ones. Especially bless the sick people who really suffer with the, with the different ailments. Lord, help us to really be happy and joyful. Make us also to emanate, to show your love to all people whomever we meet today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Psalm 51 is profound in its meaning and is rich in many ways. We need to thank David for offering us this beautiful and great psalm. Hope you enjoyed praying this psalm with me. Thanks for watching our program, Praying Through Psalms. Kindly keep watching our program on JCK Creations, both on Facebook page and YouTube channel. You may also spread your word about this program with your friends. They could be part of this program 
and benefit as well kindly keep watching our program see you next with psalm 52 until then stay blessed